Well, with that said, now officially welcome everybody out to our weekly Actives Opportunity Call. It is a pleasure and an honor to have a guest presenter with us, with us this evening, Dr. Larry Martin. I know that you're a busy man. I know that you have a lot of a lot of different um, items that are pulling for your attention, demanding your time. So we do appreciate you, as always, taking some time out of your busy schedule to, uh, to share some of your wisdom and knowledge with us, specifically as it pertains to LINK, the science behind it, and the medical validation behind this incredible, one-of-a-kind, cutting-edge technology that many people are already seeing tremendous, tremendous health benefits with. And so I know we have a lot of guests on this evening that would like to understand a little bit more about it. So with that said, I'm not going to take a whole lot of time from you. If you'd like to introduce yourself a little bit, and I'll go ahead on, on my end and get the presentation pulled up and ready for you, Dr. Martin. Good evening to my Actives family. Uh, I'm Dr. Larry Martin, alias uh, just Dr. Larry. And tonight I'm honored to be with you and be able to talk a little bit about uh, the health benefits of the LINK product. And I want to do that via the recent slide uh, deck that has been provided to us. Um, so with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so what is butyric acid? Um, well, if we talk about butyric acid, we know it's a short chain fatty acid, um, which are very small molecules that affects our body in a, in a, in a number of different ways. Uh, it's produced naturally in the colon as a result of the food that we eat, specifically uh, if we're eating high fiber diets. Uh, and it's also um, generated through our intestinal bacteria. Um, it has a, a, a it activates signaling molecules that begin at a psychological or physiological response at the cellular level. Um, these receptors are generally transmembrane um, proteins which bind to signaling molecules outside the cell and subsequently they transmit the signal through a sequence of molecular switches uh, to internal signaling pathways. Um, some of us might be aware of what that sounds like, well, it's essentially the NRF2 activation, if you will. Uh, when you activate these proteins, the proteins allow the, the uh, signaling from the outside of the cell to be generated into the uh, nucleus to be able to turn on uh, genes. This is the epigenetic uh, portion of, of how this product functions. Let's go to the next slide. So, what is the human microbiome? Uh, the microbiome is comprised of at least uh, all of the microbes in our digestive system. Uh, the humans depend on a vast army of microbes to, to even survive. And the microbiome protects us against unhealthy bacteria and breaks down our food, uh, releases energy to produce vitamins, uh, and, and certain fibers, prebiotics, and intestinal bacteria in the microbiome produce our butyric acid. Um, we also know that scientists estimate that there are at least 100 trillion bacterial cells in our body, and that's roughly 10 times as many cells as the cells that make up your body uh, you know, the, throughout your entire structure. Researchers believe we have only identified less than 10% of the total bacteria in our body thus far. Uh, and if you remember, some of you may have seen a post I uh, placed uh, on a study that was just released a week or two ago uh, where they identified another 2,000 new microbiome bacteria that had never been discovered before. So if you think about it, if we only understand roughly identified 10% of them, there's a lot more that, that we'll be hearing about as, as scientists and, and this particular portion of the science uh, progresses onward. Let's go to the next slide. So getting to know your gut biome, biome yeah, you, this is a great slide uh, because it, some people when they want to talk learn a, a new new science or new information, it, it's good to do it into uh, examples. And so when we talk about our 
microbiome, uh, we can we know that it weighs as much as two to four pounds, and and then it's ninety five percent of our own bacteria live within our gut my, microbiome. That means another five percent lives uh, in a variety of places uh, throughout the the body and even outside the body. So we know that there is. Uh, um, bacteria under our arms, behind our ears. Uh, um, well, I, I'll let you figure out the anatomy. It, it's pretty much everywhere. Uh, our GI tract has a total area of over 4,300 square feet. Uh, and, and according to this particular um, diagram here, that's equivalent to two large tennis courts. Our bacteria are 10 to 50 times smaller than our cells. And as I mentioned previously, there are 10 times more bacteria than there are human cells through our body. So that gives you an idea of the ratio of that uh, 10 times smaller. And if, if that isn't interesting enough, if you laid these bacteria uh, in, within our gut, it would circle the globe between two to five times. Um, so that should give us an idea again uh, of the population base of how much is in your gut. Uh, microbiome. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So where does bacteria uh, or butyric acid come from? Well, it's produced in our colon by friendly bacteria that, that ferment our dietary fiber. Uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, the microbiome breaks down the types of foods we eat, but only certain foods can pass through the stomach and into the small intestine and make it to the colon where the bacteria that makes butyric acid is located. Fiber, uh, along with uh, prebiotics in our diet, can pass into our colon mostly undigested and, and can be used to by certain healthy bacteria, um, such as the probiotics, uh, to be able to make the butyric acid. Now, let's go to the next one. So why do we need bacteria, uh, or butyric acid, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a good chart to uh, just kind of walk through the, the uh, variety of reasons of for what butyric acid is good for. So starting in a 12 o'clock, uh, if you look at it in a clock fashion, um, we're looking at antibacterial action. These are some of the things that butyric acid is, uh, can do for our system uh, that we can utilize it for. It's facilitating the absorption of the ions and water that we are drinking. Uh, it can provide the growth of the bacteria uh, and the beneficial bacteria within the intestine. Um, it is improving intestinal barrier by regulating tight junctions. So we, we're gonna talk about um, leaky gut syndrome and how butyric acid is, uh, uh, helps to heal that particular uh, disorder. Growth and differentiation of the enterocytes as well. And then it is our immune regulation. That is, uh, butyric acid can improve uh, how our immune system functions. Let's go to the next slide. So if you look at this particular slide, uh, imagine, if you will, that this is your, your gut. You're, you're now looking at it inside. The top version will be the, uh, we'll, we'll say we're looking at the colon. Uh, the green strip in the center is essentially the, the cells that line the, the gut, the epithelial cells. And then below is the processes. Once you have the food coming from the upper level, which is coming in from your small bowel, uh, this is where the mechanics of our nutrition occurs. So food and nutritional support for the body enters to the stomach as dumped from the stomach into the small intestines. And then from the small bowel, here is the process of absorption and the effect butyric acid has on our gut health. The, as I said, the green area represents the epithelial cells which line our colon. And then we talk about, if you look in the gray or in the green area, you'll see around the center of the initials ATP. Uh, this is endocyne triphosate, uh, triphosate um, I'm sorry, 
<coughs> I'm losing my voice. Triphosphates, and that is essentially is a chemical that provides the energy to drive the process in living cells. So you need the ATP to be generated to activate muscle contractions. It triggers nerve impulses and it activates chemical synthesis. And ATP can be found in all living life. And it's often referred as a molecular unit of currency or our intercellular energy transfer. That is where we're getting what we're getting when the butyric acid is breaking down the food and is uh, the butyric acid adds to the strength and the energy that the epithelial cells require. And when they're feeding on the butyric acid, this is a process that is triggered. Once you get past this epithelial uh, cell lining, then you see the actual process of the nutrition uh, entering into the bloodstream and uh, moving forward. Some will go uh, to the liver, some of it will go on into the blood flow, uh, but this is the actual process, if you will, the mechanism that is occurring in a healthy uh, gut system. Let's go to the next slide. So when we talk about uh, butyric acid, how does it promote our health? Well, we, we all hear the term epigenetic um, function in these products. Well, epigenetic regulators are the molecules that control where and when certain genes are expressed. Again, those of us familiar with uh, the NERF2 activator in genomics, uh, this is what we're talking about, the ability to, of a protein to be able to enter into that nucleus and turn on or off uh, these gene expressions. Buteric acid is a type of epigenetic regulator, and then it can alter the function of proteins that make these chemical changes to our DNA. So um, <clears throat> let's go to the next slide. <coughs> Excuse me. So background on irritable bowel dis disorders. Um, We've heard of ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, chronic relapsing inflammatory bowel diseases. Uh, irritable bowel disease has become more common in our generation and most of the world is experiencing a more than doubled increase in irritable bowel uh, disorders um, prevalence in over just the, fa uh, the past decade. And irritable bowel Dis diseases in the U.S. is associated with uh, poor health related quality of life. Um, also uh, nutritionally is a factor as well. Um, IBD has become more common with approximately 1.6 million Americans currently diagnosed with IBD and as many as 70,000 new cases are diagnosed each year. And there may be as many as high as 80,000 children in the United States uh, that have been diagnosed with IBD. And there's an estimated over 160 genes that are associated with irritable bowel disorder. Most of the world is experiencing a more than doubled increase in this IBD preval um, prevalence. Um, and the U.S. is associated, as I said, uh, with poor quality of life and poor eating habits. Let's go to the next slide. So irritable bowel syndrome, even more common than irritable bowel disease. Uh, symptoms uh, can, it, it, this is um, an inflammatory bowel disease. It includes, uh, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I, talking about a uh, previous slide here. So symptoms associated with gastrointestinal dysfunction such as irritable bowel syndromes are estimated to occur into 10 to 30% of the world population. Um, so IBS is similar, but less destructive compared to the irritable bowel disease. Uh, like IBD, irritable bowel syndrome has gastrointestinal symptoms such as abdominal pain, uh, cramping, bloating, gas, and um, and other uh, alterations in our bowel habits. So the difference between the two of them, IBD uh, is the more invasive version, if you will, uh, where you'll have actual damage to cell structure within the gut, where the irritable bowel syndrome, while the symptoms may be similar, 
uh, is more of an inflammation uh, induced uh, pathology. Let's go to the next slide. So sources of butyric acid. Um, you know, you can obtain uh, butyric acid through the plants and foods that we eat. However, it's a poor bioavailability when you go that route, um, and it's not really measurable. In other words, we don't know how much you need to, to have of, of, say, eating butter, which is a good source for butyric acid. Um, and it's not because it's not measurable, uh, we know that we're not receiving enough benefit from uh, eating plants or uh, of different foods that have uh, butyric acid associated with them. We also can do it in supplements, but up until the point of our product being on the market, the problem with supplements is as we know, they taste horrible because butyric acid tastes horrible. They smell horrible because butyric acid smells horrible. And again, it's a poor bioavailability, meaning that when you consume a capsule of butyric acid, it's not protected well enough to get through the stomach system uh, in, in order to be utilized in the colon. So let's go to the next slide. So what are the impacts of a healthier uh, um, gut lining or leaky gut syndrome? This is another picture, the, the, the red drawing, if you will, on the left of your screen is another shot similar to the one that we, we just saw with the, the cell lining being the green strip within the middle. Uh, if you look to the left of this particular drawing, you'll see nice pink healthy cells. This is the epithelial cells. And to the right side, you're seeing the inflamed um, cells that are either out of size or shrunk down if they're, uh, if they're really not getting enough butyric acid. Uh, they, they start to um, withdraw or shrink within themselves, leaving large gaps in between the two cells, where when you look on the left side of the, the screen where they're nice and tight, uh, that's intended. Those little gaps in between are filters that allow the good nutrition to be absorbed into the bloodstream. Um, but when you look at the damaged uh, inflamed cells on the right side, you can see that there, there is no filtration there. It just allows the bacteria uh, or even food particles to, to try to get absorbed into the blood system. And this is, this is really the trigger for autoimmune disease is uh, a start from uh, leaky gut syndrome. So let's go to the next slide. So introducing LINK, uh, our, our cellular jet fuel. Uh, we, we know that the, this is an epigenetic formula and it's, science, it's been scientifically validated that it improves gut function and microbiome health, uh, improves brain function, increases metabolism, metabolism. It regulates the immune system and it regulates inflammation uh, and also benefits the skin. Well, let's go to the next one. Butyric acid forms this connection, not only between the biome, which are all the bacteria that live in our digestive system, and our guts, but also the immune system and then our brains. And it's that connection that really unlocks the, the, the power. Those systems need to communicate. They need to be able to function at a high level for us to thrive and to really feel well. 
And that's what butyric acid and link, if you will, does. Okay, so going on, what makes Link so unique? Uh, well, the sourcing of high quality ingredients is the start of it. Uh, manufactured by a reputable company. Uh, it has two patent pending technologies, the Psylock and the DEX key, and it increases the bioavailability of the butyric acid, and you no longer have the bad smell or the taste that's associated with that. I did a little bit of uh, searching for exactly what my, uh, the Psylocke uh, trademark was. Um, Psylocke is an alpha dextrin fiber matrix, which is, uh, forms a little bit of a trap uh, design. Um, and the dextrins are a group of low molecular weight carbohydrates produced by hydrolysis of uh, starch or glycerin. And so it, it allows this little trap, if you will. Uh, let's go to Dexkey as well, um, which is the process used in dietary supplements where an individual molecules or fatty acid enzyme or botanical extract are physically combined with a host molecule to enhance the therapeutic properties of the fatty acid enzyme or botanical extract. So these two together form a, a, a bit of a, a trap, if you will, that the, the molecule of, of the um, butyric acid is entrapped within this, and then it's protected. So that allows it to get through the system and into the gut where that um, the alpha dextrin fiber matrix is then uh, absorbed and the molecule of butyric acid is released. So this is gonna be the first product on the market that you can actually get a viable, usable, and measurable dose into the, uh, the into your gut biome to, and, and this is why our product is gonna be so successful and why we're seeing such great results with it. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So this is the actual patent for uh, those two processes. Um, and, and I guess all I can say about this is that because there's a, a patent that's being issued with, with this technology, we're not going to see another product on the market for a very long time that is going to have the capabilities that our link product does. Let's go to the next slide. So what makes our, our link product so unique? Well, I think we've kind of covered some of that. Um, I, I would suggest we've already covered it. Uh, but in presentations, we like to tell you what we're gonna tell you, and then we like to tell you what we're gonna tell you, and then we like to tell you what we've told you. And, I, and so we're gonna go back over some of this because um, we, we wanna tell you what we've already told you. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So Lincoln, Link improves uh, gut function and microbiome health. That's, that's the key to this. Um, Link uses epigenetics to influence the genes, uh, the MUC2 genes specifically, that are responsible for strengthening the lining of the gut and the stomach. Uh, this strengthening of the stomach and intestinal lining makes sure nutrients get absorbed properly and keeps harmful microorganisms from going where they don't belong. Uh, this also strengthens the link between the brain and the gut since some 100 million neurons call the gut their home. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So link improves brain function. We know that it increases the, the creation of brain cells, the neurogenesis. 
it strengthens the blood brain barrier. It improves the connection between the brain and the gut or, or our gut brain axis, if you will. And it moderates mood disorders and key to the production of all neurotransmitters, as I said earlier, 90% of which are produced in the gut. And let's go to the next slide. And it increases, link increases metabolism. The ingredients in the link have been shown uh, to epigenetically increase the number of mitochondria, the power plants, if you will, of our cells, uh, which are responsible for energy production and metabolism. Uh, it breaks down fat cells and improves insulin sensitivity, all of which helps to create and use more energy. Uh, these ingredients are also in, induce a hormone that makes you feel full faster, reducing your desire to overeat. Let's look at the next slide. We also know that link regulates the immune system. Uh, link regulates genes that have a positive impact on the immune system, which is largely housed or originates in the gut uh, via signal molecules. And let's look at the next one. And link regulates inflammation. Uh, it can, helps control inflammation and limit oxidative damage that contributes to uh, inflammation throughout the body uh, by regulating the genes responsible for the cytokines and T cells. This providing uh, protection in our blood vessel diseases, arthritis and joints, obesity, ulcer, IBS and IBD as we talked about, infections, Alzheimer's, diabetes, autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and psoriasis. Let's go to the next one. And then, of course, uh, it, it benefits our skin. Uh, the skin is our first barrier of the immune system. It lets good things in and keeps bad things out. It also has our its own immune system built in, uh, the health of which it is dictated by gene expression. And LINK not only encourages that healthy gene expression, it also induces collagen uh, synthesis, uh, which is, is what your skin needs to be strong and heal quickly. Let's go to the next one. So uh, additional benefits of LINK is if they're uh, we haven't already talked about enough of these. Uh, let's let's it, it continues to go on and on. In fact, I'll go as far to say that uh, we we yet to know just how effective this product is going to be until we start seeing it uh, for longer term use uh, in, in patients that we, we, we will provide this to. Uh, but we know that butyric acid downregulates genes that are involved in the biosynthesis of cholesterol and triglycerides. Uh, in animal studies, it results in increased energy expenditure in the form of body heat and increased physical activity. Um, butyric acid has been shown to have significant preventative influence on cardiovascular health. It reduces serum triglycerides by as much as 50% compared to controls. Um, butyric acid can reduce or inhibit certain microbiome responsible for generating uh, proponic acid. And proponic acid is implicated in autism spectrum disorders. So I, I expect to see studies coming down the pike uh, that will uh, better in, uh, tell us exactly the uh, impact that, that our product will have in some of these cases. Uh, butyric acid is important and readily available fuel for our body with many benefits. And not only is always easy to get from food or produce in the body, um, but but by supplementation is the uh, the best way that we can add uh, butyric acid into the system. One study I reviewed, uh, the the authors flat out said that uh, they believe that butyric acid will be the um, the most important supplement on the market today. And link contains uh, also contains prebiotics, and these will increase the body's ability to make its own butyric acid. Let's. I, I'm not sure if that's the last slide. Uh, so, uh, and I actually just went over this, uh, these particular comments and what I just mentioned. Uh, so now onto the last slide. So, cellular jet fuel, uh, that's a phrase we need to, to be 
to, to be uh, stating often uh, because butyric acid and in the way it's produced with this uh, embedded uh, prebiotics is what is going to energize our body and, and bring our whole system uh, back to a healthy state starting from the gut first, uh, the gut microbiome. Uh, through the enteric nervous system and on to the brain and other organs in the body. Um, I, I can't tell you as a, as a person involved in science uh, just how excited I am about this product. And, and it's just the matter of each of us doing our job uh, to teach it uh, and to get others to understand uh, what a powerful uh, product this link uh, product is. And with that, I, I'll turn the time back over to you, Daniel. Thank you.